Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to talk about um, copy and paste different detail items. Okay, so let's start. So first I'm going to create a project. And so let's let's go back to here. Okay, so first let's 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 have a look of a, a sub region. Okay, so go back to Revit. Uh, I'm going to go to the side plan and I'll create a topography and I'll place four points here, finish it. So sub sub region. So I'm going to quick quickly um, just roughly draw a shape. Let's pretend this is a footpath. Okay, so so this sub regions is usually used to um, to apply different material to a topography. So for example, if I draw this shape, finish it, you will see now we have two different material for this topography. So the main material for this topography. So I'll just quickly um, create a new material. So I'll call it grass appearance. I'll give it a green color graphic. Okay. So change to shade SD, so you will see this is a green color. And this gray color uh, comes from this because we uh, we don't have a material for it. So now if I create a new material, I'll, I'll call it a footpath. And I'll just use this gray, or maybe it's just light gray. Okay, so OK, graphic, I want to match that gray, so OK. So now you will see this is a gray color for this area. Um, okay, so now, if if I want this area to be a different material, so um, usually you will think uh, you you might think that uh, oh, we can just cre create a new sub region for this area, but the issue is you uh, won't be able to pick this line. So this will be the issue. So because if you draw some line that intersect with this area so for example i'll just quickly draw something like this okay so and it will you won't be able to create this separation so it need to be it need to be 100 percent uh, match this edge so now what you can do is so let's cancel this one go back to this uh, full path edit boundary select this edge okay so select this edge Control c finish this now go back to topography uh, a sub region and go paste align to current view so this will create an exact exact same uh, spline to match the uh, the previous uh, sub region so now you can just simply uh, just uh, let's try se yep so just se finish it so now we can have a different material for this area okay and so this is it so this is the first one now few region mask region oh, internal elevations so okay let me just delete delete this so now go to a floor plan so we're going to create a wall wa and i'll just draw a box and I'll place a ceiling in this, and then I'll place a root, a floor, tab, finish. So now we have a little room. Okay, so ceiling, floor, and walls. So go back to ground floor. I'm going to create a. Uh, actually, let me just add a. Um, maybe add a, add a, add a door. Okay, so add a door here. So maybe I don't need that big, make it smaller, okay? Okay, so now we let's create a elevation. Elevation, I'm going to create an internal elevation, so I'll place it here. So now you will see this is a internal elevation, so cutting here, depths, maybe go back a little bit. So um, I like to, so although this, you will see this internal elevation automatically, match the edge of the wall but if you go to this view uh go to this view oh, oh here 
sorry, you need to pick you need to pick this right click, go to elevation view. So although it automatically matched the wall, but you won't see those wall. So let me uh, try TL. No, TL back. So you won't see the uh, the line the, the the thickness of the the wall, the line. So you need to drag it back, and then you will see this line. So some uh, I like to. I like to do adjust the so you will see the thickness of, of the floor. So if you yeah, if you I think oh yeah, so see this is quite interesting. So yeah, so I like to do this. I like to do mask region or even a feel a white color feel region to adjust the internal elevation. So let me do it. So I so because I can choose what thickness uh, I can use. So usually I'll just pick a white white uh, white line and so let's do this. Okay, so I'll quick, quick, quickly draw a two box and then for this area. So usually what I do is I'll just do this. Okay, trim. Trim, change this to a invisible line, finish, and this is it. So maybe I'll just hide it, EH. Okay, so I like to do this. And um, this is a mask region. And if if you have another view, so I know it's uh, it, it take a little time to set up all these views, but uh, sometimes you can save at least you can save some time when you try when you create another view. So for example, this one. So we have a view looking this way, looking up. If if you create a view looking down, so if I select this one, so you will see this looking down. What you can do is you can go to that view. So let's go to elevation here. So we can the previous one. You can copy this one, copy this um, mask region or field region. So you can copy it, Control C, and go to this elevation. So this field, this oh, sorry, this view is looking the other direction, but it's um, parallel to the previous one. So what you need to do is you need to just need to drag this a little bit so to see so you, you can see the thickness of the line the floor and then you can just paste to align to the same place okay so this will directly place this mask region on the the, the same location of that uh so you'll see just to mirror it okay okay so that's that's it. Um, now let's have a look at some this one same location on different shade. Okay, so let's go to a shade. So this is a shade. So this is the original, you know, the 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 shade uh, when you first start. Maybe maybe let's do this. So I'll just uh, delete this one. So. I'll create a new shade. So every time you create a new shade, uh, you need to pick a title block. So once you finish this title block, so this title block is not um, in a in a random place. It's it's being placed in in and there 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 is a invisible like um um what what do we call it? A location, so for example, z, uh, zero zero here, and then it will be always uh, in the same location on this on this um, on this screen. Okay, so let's say if if you create this one, so for example, if I cre you create this one, if you draw something, so for example, I'll just draw a box here. And then if you create a new shade with the same title block and and go back here. So if you select this one, control C and go to this shade and you go modify, paste, 
and you can choose uh, these two should be the same current view or same place so you can so for example same place it will be placed in the same location relative to this shade so um, this means it's very important to always so try to not uh, move your title block okay so because if you have all your title block in the same location it's easier for you to if you want to um, so for example place something in the same location so for example if you place a a schedule so for example i'll place a schedule here and if you want to place this schedule in the same location on that shade so you just need to control c and go to that shade and paste in same place okay so um yeah something uh, else else uh, like uh, north arrows uh, scale scale bars so you probably want them to stay in the same location so it's easier so if you have all the title block in the same location so if you if you uh, if you move this title block up there and then next time when you try to you know control C copy this one I'll just delete this one and paste in the same location it looks like oh it's it's not same location it's actually it's the same location but your title block title blocks are not in the same uh, same location okay so that's that's it um, same location on different views okay let's try f uh, plan views okay so okay so um, if you so for example if I draw something so some some detail line so you, you know that um, if you model something so you will always see those stuff in the same location same as the the, the detail uh, elements so for example if you draw some detail lines here so you can have text here so if you select them control C and go to a different uh, view so for example uh, go to level, level one you can always align to current view or align to same place so if they are detail item these two are uh, the same so for example current view so you will see this line relative to this they are in the same location even they are if you uh, use different uh, so for example if I go to side plan and I change the scale to 1 to 500 you can still apply uh, align to current view but the of course the size because of because of the uh, scale the size of the text so see the size of the text uh, relative to the model will change but uh, the location of the text are actually the same so this this text and this text okay so yeah i think that's that's it um let's have a look again same location different view um yeah so it also applied to other views so for example elevation if i go to um if i create so i'll, I'll create a elevation view okay so uh, building elevation maybe this time i'll change this to building elevation so this one's looking at this wall so i'll go to this elevation and I'll, if i draw some detail elements um if i draw a, for example a field region okay so field region i want to you know do a field region on this wall so it's only visible currently it's only visible in this view but if i if i go to floor plan again and i try to create so another so parallel a view parallel to this view so for example i'll just copy this one create another elevate oh sorry i can't do that copy this cc yeah i copy I'll copy this one i just adjust this one adjust this view 
to make make it different to this view okay so this one's looking maybe half half of this wall maybe this one's uh yeah like this so let me just go close this one and i'll go to this view go back to floor plan and go to this view so now let's have a look i'll close this floor ground floor wt so now we have two so it looks like different view right so this one in this one we only see half of this and in this view we see the whole wall but we can still go back here if you control c go to here you can pay you can paste so onto the same so we can go current view same place it's the same so now you will see the the location of this view region relative to this wall are the same okay okay so now let's have a look of this one copy and paste between sketch lines model line yeah i think i've we've done this pretty much in the first one so sketch lines detail model line. yep so okay so sometimes um let me think okay so sometimes for example this field region so maybe i'll just make a more you know crazy shape okay so field region and close it some fill fi finish or delete this fill region so sometimes we create some fill region okay and then you try to um try to you know instead of fill region you want to you want to have some model line maybe so you can just edit boundary and then select this line okay select this line select these uh, sketch sketch lines of this field region control c and now finish this field region so let me just uh h h this field region so what you can do now is you can just paste directly paste align to current view you will see you can paste and create some line so currently there are detail lines so we'll see the detail line checked and also of course once you have detail lines you can convert them uh you know, currently it's gray out so maybe we need to set a word plan first so let's go architecture set a plan and pick a plan pick this wall now we can select these lines select these two detail lines now you can convert line so if i click on convert line and then these two lines become model lines so it will be visible in the 3d model okay and um yeah of course you can once you have these lines you can use them for anything so for example you can if you want to um maybe maybe a split face i think you you should be able to pick this line as well so now let me just drag uh oh i just copy this wall something like that um yep i think that's that's it um if you if you find anything else uh, please please let me know okay so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time thank you bye